Welcome to today's episode of Catching Up with Your Saga Stationery. So, so casual. casual. It is a beautiful day. It's the first day of spring. It's the first day of spring, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> first or second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw a bunch of people saying it's the first day of spring. I was like, oh, what a good cool. day for the first day of spring. It's beautiful. So such nice weather. Such nice weather. Um, I hope you all are well at home. Um, here at Yoseka Stationery, we have been doing great. Neil's sister uh, has been in town the last couple couple of weeks and she actually is headed home so yeah. um, it was really nice to see her though and just to have like lots of family time spent mm -hmm. over the last couple of weeks um, here at Yoseka you may think that it's been a little bit quiet <laughs> wondering what we're all up to and um, actually Ashley you've been very busy with something right yes I've been very busy with a secret little project <laughs> Hopefully, I'll share more details soon. Yes. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of um, drawing, sketching, designing. <laughs> Try not to give too much away. <laughs> yes, um, we are very proud that here at Yoseka, our team members are encouraged to kind of explore their creativity in different ways here. Last year, everybody had their special projects that they released. Um, during like sort of the middle of the year, I would mm -hmm. say. And this year we are aiming to do kind of the same thing, um, but we are all a little more experienced yeah. this time around. Everybody's already designed something that they dreamt up and um, been through the process of like going back and forth with the design and making adjustments mm -hmm. and then seeing like a model of something and so on and so forth. So this year, um, Ashley as well, and all of our team members yeah, are actually working on something. So we're really excited to show everybody more about what's coming up. We've kind of sneak peeked. Is that a word? <laughs> it is now. Sneak peeked Othin's um, stickers yeah. and his tote bag that is coming out very soon. So be on the lookout for that. And Ashley is working on something that I just got a look at recently and I'm so excited for. I'm also excited. Yes, I'm, I'm excited. So excited. Yeah. Um, and we're we're looking forward to being able to share that with all of you and everyone. Everyone mm -hmm. has really cool stuff coming up on the horizon. So be sure to be on the lookout for everyone's special projects for 2023. Yes. Yes. Look forward to it. Look forward to it. That's right. I am. I certainly am. Um, other than that, this week we have a table full of newly added stationery in front of us. So much stuff. So here. much stuff. Um, <laughs> We're really excited to show you all what we've been busy adding here at Yoseka. We have lots of pens this week, mm -hmm. um, lots of writing utensils. So um, we will dive right in. Where should we start on the table though, Ashley? Should we, should we kick it off with the, the biggest and best? release from sure. recent memory. Absolutely. So Ashley is hinting at the Sailor Pen of the Year. So these are 1911S and 1911L released by Sailor. Um, it's a North American exclusive. So these are Sailor Pen of the Year. It's like a olive green, transparent green, uh, 1911 S&L with the rounded sailor tops. The 1911 S comes in the 14 karat nib. The 1911 L comes with the 21 karat nib and it has glitter detail. Um, mm -hmm. So here in my hands, we have the 2023 Sailor Pen of the Year. This is transparent olive green with um, pretty small glitter detail. Um, if we compare it to some other glitter pens that have been released, the glitter in this is actually much smaller than it has been in the past, which is interesting. And then it has a gold plated 14 karat gold nib here and the 21 karat nib on the other 1911L. Um, and 
We did get requests to do side-by-side -side comparisons between the pen of the year and of course our <laughs> Yoseka Origin Pro Gear Slim. Obviously they're different shapes, but mm -hmm. um, they're both transparent green pens with glitter details. So um, the, the comparisons between the two are pretty obvious. So, so which one's which, Ashley? Yeah, this is our Origin Pro Gear Slim on the left and the Pen of the Year is on the right. So you can see that the Pen of the Year is obviously in the rounded 1911 style and the Pro Gear Slim is the, has the flat top, flat tops. And our Origin Pen, I feel like is a, is a more, like intense green, less of an olive color when it right. comes to the color comparison. Mm -hmm. And the glitter, the glitter, I think you can really see a, a big difference. Um, the glitter particles on the olive pen of the year are like much, much finer than on the origin pen. I hope that shows up. Yeah, I think you can, I think there's a, a, quite a difference between the two shades of green on those pens, actually. Yeah. yeah. Like when you compare them, you can definitely see that this one's like, maybe they're like the same brightness, but ours is like a little bit more like green, true green. Mm -hmm. And the, the olive is more like a, well, olive mm -hmm. color, a little bit yellower. That's right. Yeah, so for anybody who was curious about seeing those side by side, hopefully this helped you make your decision on whether or not the pen of the year is for you. Um, but this is a beautiful green pen that I am a fan of. I love all green pens. <laughs> yeah, green and gold is the winning combination in my Especially book. Especially here, yeah. Especially here, yeah, exactly. So um, that is the Sailor Pen of the Year, 2023 Pen of the Year. Um, other than that, we will continue to talk about pens, I guess, now that we're on a roll. Um, ooh, let's get these out of the way. Okay, so closest is this closest um, on the table are these new Pilot Juice pens, and these were actually released for the 10th anniversary of Pilot Juice, which are a pretty popular gel pen. And so, for the 10th anniversary of Pilot Juice, Pilot actually created these uh, six different colors of pens that are uh, come in a good morning set as well as a good afternoon set. And each of the colors is inspired by a smoothie, mm -hmm. a fruit flavor. So there's banana smoothie and there's blueberry smoothie. Um, there's kiwi smoothie orange, strawberry, and mint smoothie. And so these are available in 0.5 and in a set of three and three and a set of six or individually as well. And I can't get over the packaging of these. They're I so know, cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. I love the drawing of the smoothie. I know. The little illustrations are so adorable. Oh. Yeah, I just noticed that like they have a little straw peeking yeah, out over here. Yeah, the top. Yeah, and they're limited edition. So if you're a fan of Pilot Juice, and you want to collect all the colors, these might be a good idea for you. Other than that, we have these ones. So more new pens. These are the Dr. Grip multi-pen from mm -hmm. Pilot. And these are a four plus one multi-pen is what they call them because there's four different ink colors and one pencil in the multi-pen. So let me get a close up here. There's so many colors of these, and there's there's even more colors than this. Mm. But all of these are 0.5 multi pens by Pilot, and what's special about these is the here. I'll choose this one. The grip section is supposed to be really soft and like comfortable to hold. Mm -hmm. It is really soft. It's very cushioned. Yeah. yeah. So apparently the grip is like double layered. So that when you push in, there is like some give to it. Oh, there is. There's a little bit of like a bounce yeah. to it. Yeah. 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 Which is like super soft mm -hmm. and you can see it's almost like boing, boing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is pretty firm still. Yeah. This is pretty firm. Yeah. And the Dr. Grip model is super iconic from Pilot. Lots of people know Dr. Grip for being super comfortable. It like won an award from the like arthritis association Ooh. for being super comfortable <gasps> and good for writing. Oh and yeah. the ink is their acro ink. Mm. So 
you know the Pilot Acro, it's that same ink in here, fast drying, very smooth. So everything about the Dr. Grip is supposed to be just great for a long time writing. It's like ergonomic writing. Yeah, super ergonomic yeah. writing. That's so cool. I love this green one. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's yeah. So, so nice looking. Mm -hmm. Wow. And there's also a eraser. Oh, in the there's cap. an eraser. Because mm -hmm. the plus one is a pencil. It's a pencil. Ah. So if you press down, I I feel like this can always confuses a lot of people, but if you yes. press down yes. here and then you keep pressing, that's how you advance the lead. Yes. But yeah. That's so, great. What a great multi-pen. Yeah, a great multi-pen in the Dr. Grip style. Yeah. But the Dr. Grip, I have to say it like that because that's the name. There's a pencil also with the Dr. Grip style. This one is a shaker mechanical pencil, which means that if you turn this lock right here, they have marked out that you can turn like this. Mm -hmm. If you turn it like this and shake it, the lead advances. Mm, that's so, so cool. Maybe let me yes. do it again. You can also push it back in like normal, but if it's clicked where the notch is lining up and you shake it, nothing happens. But if you turn the notch so they're not aligned and you shake the pen, the lead will advance. Wow. So, so this is writing. just the pencil, right? Yeah, just the okay. pencil. Yeah. Just a regular mechanical pencil. And so as you're writing, if you pick your pen up, you know, you do this. Mm -hmm. It just advances for you. So that's just another ergonomic, comfortable mm. way of writing. Yeah. I like that you can turn it off too in case you don't want it to like advance if you're shaking it around in your bag or something yeah. like that. And most shaker pencils do have some way to turn it off. That on or off. All right. Other than that, in the multi-pen universe, we also have some new multi-pen bodies uh, that are uni-style fit. So um, we have lots of multi-pen families, I guess. Yeah. Here at Yoseka, there's like Pilot Coletto, there's the Jetstream multi-pen, we have Dr. Grip multi-pens now, we have Friction multi-pen. This is one that's by Uni, and these are called Style Fit. So um, a little bit of explanation. Um, if you get a Style Fit pen, you get an empty pen, like this, no refills, and it comes with a certain um, allotment for refills. So these hold one, two, three, four, five. So these are holding five. So these are the five body style fit refills. And then there are some that are for four bodies. So there's some for that three, um, two, and one even. Mm -hmm. So um, you pick the pen body that you want, and then you can select from all the different refills. But you have to pick a style fit refill. This mm -hmm. is a common misconception is that you can use any uni refill. You have to use a style fit mm -hmm. refill. Um, but I'm such a fan of these sort of toned down, like pastel colors. Like this is giving me like matcha latte vibes. Yeah, they're so yummy. I like, just looks delicious. Like latte, yeah. matcha, like, well, this is this would just be milk. Just I guess. milk. Yeah. Just milk. Yeah. <laughs> but they all look really nice and subtle and yummy. I know. I love these. So I'm a big fan of these uh, new uni style fit pen bodies mm -hmm. and for anybody who loves multi pens you should certainly check these out i think that um these refills in my experience there's like different i think in general multi pen refills kind of run out a little bit quicker because mm -hmm. there's less ink in the refill mm -hmm. but um these are a little bit longer lasting than some of the other ones that i've used so for anybody you know who's curious about that you should check out the style fit refills let's talk about the new uni kurachoga advanced upgrade mechanical pencils which we've had for a long time but these are now available in 0.3 which is pretty cool and for anyone who doesn't know about what kurachoga is kurachoga um, is designed by Uni and I want to say patented, but I'm not sure if it's patented or not. It probably mm -hmm. is because okay. it's like very Uni. Um, so Krutoga is the is the type of pencil where um, they have a mechanism within the pencil that rotates the lead like <laughs> 
like this every time you lift the pencil up a little bit. So that upward motion of lifting the pencil up rotates the lead by I think like eight degrees or something like that. So um, every time you move the pencil, it rotates the lead a little bit and that's what allows your lead to stay sharp and avoid that super jagged edge on one yeah. side. Um, and then, so these are these are cool because these use the Kurotoga technology, and this is advanced, so it's actually faster. It rotates the lead even faster than the original Kurotoga does, and it comes in point three now. Mm -hmm. So, all good things. This is the ivory, and this is the black. Moving on, we have, I think that concludes it for our pens and pencils. Mm -hmm. And then we have some new notebooks that I know people have been waiting for. These are the 2023 limited stylogy colors and the colors are forest, fog, and salvia. It's interesting because stylogy makes a red cover and mm -hmm. this is like red, but it's also pinkish. Yeah, it's very right? slightly different. Yeah. So uh, yeah, pinkish is a good way to describe it. It's like a pinkish red because mm -hmm. it's not like they're fiery red. They, mm -hmm. they do have a fiery red cover. And then um, there is this fog cover, which is a light sort of gray. Grayish. Yeah, mm -hmm. a very light gray. And then there is this forest color, which is like an olive green. Mm -hmm. Lots went, of olive. Yes, lots today. of olive. Yes. Um, this is a good color, and then these come in the A5 365 days as well as the A5 half year. I always get emails about these. Every year people are like, when are the new Stology oh, colors coming? Color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People love Stology Notebooks and um, it's such an honor that our Yoseka Green Stology Notebook can be maybe a pseudo 2023 yeah. color as well. <laughs> Alongside these. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's really cool. We love Stology. I know a lot of you love Stology and you can check out these new colors from Stology for 2023. All right. Um, next up, we have some... Shall we go into the stickers? Yeah, let's go into the stickers. All right, right here next to me, I have new stickers from Cameo. Or should I say Cameo? Technically, I guess that's how you'd say it. But these are pixel art stickers. So they're all like super cute pixelated designs. This one's called Transportation and it's got a bunch of different transportation vehicles on so here. So cute. But I love, there's like the cats and dogs, there's the sea creatures, which I love because all of these have some like holographic foil details. They're oh, not true. just silver, they're not <gasps> just gold. Oh. They're like multicolored holographic. Wait, how cute. Yeah, they make them really stand out. But there's lots of different designs. They're wow. all very cute, very retro feeling. I, I, love, I this. love them all. The desserts are really cute. Mm -hmm. um, also new in stickers, we have some new illustrated picture book stickers. We have these animal ones. This is all a uh, feature of curry. <laughs> Bunnies, Hokkaido region, and of course the lovable sea otter. Oh, yeah, so cute. so cute. We have some new BGM flake stickers. These little packs are the post office sets mm -hmm. in the flake seals. So we have some different themed sets over here. There's like a what is this one? This um, one's like Night Encyclopedia. Oh. This one's Galaxy. And this one's called Promenade, which I haven't really been able to figure out why, but it's it's got like animals and flowers and such. Promenade. Promenade. And then this one is the cutest. Ashley and I have mm -hmm. uh, decided it's the cutest. So we're like, let's one. open this one. Yeah. <laughs> the forest animals. Forest animals. So they've got some like the, the nice gold foil details. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this oh, one. Oh my God, it's so that's cute. so cute. What the heck, it's so cute. I love it so much. <laughs> I guess it's like um, a washi type mm -hmm. paper. Yeah, the paper's yeah. Oh yeah, it's thin. super thin. Yeah. I love a washi paper sticker. I love like a mm -hmm. really delicate sticker and that's what these are, so. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, these are too cute. Too cute. Stop it. You have to show all of them. There's so many. 
I'll try and get like one of each design because they have <gasps> so look, many designs. Look, this cat is like picking out an outfit. It's like, shall ah! I wear this red? And it's red. It's like, the only red one. It's so oh cute. My God. Oh my Oh, and this one is like, I want this cat. Carrot. And there's a squirrel playing a French horn. And then more BGM flake stickers. We have these garden post office clear stickers, mm -hmm. which come in these um, larger packages because the stickers themselves are a little bit larger. Yeah, so all very nice for spring, I feel like. Mm. Oh, first day of spring. First day of spring vibes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. How did BGM know? How did they know? How did they know? Here is like a rose. And these are like photos almost. Yeah. Like they're so real. I don't know if they actually are photos or, but they're really mm -hmm. clear, good quality sort of. You know what I like about these is there's a little edge to the flake sticker, so it's easy to peel. I feel like oh. on their previous Garden You're right, stickers. that's an improvement. They didn't have that, so they changed that this time. You're right, they saw people struggling. <laughs> they saw, like, they we'll saw help me you. specifically struggling. We'll help you. <laughs> um, okay, well that's so cute from BGM. Great to decorate letters and all mm -hmm. sorts of things in your journal and your planners. Um, also, oh, one left. there's one left. One left. Oh. These are <gasps> the BGM oh, lifestyle these. stickers. These were my favorite. <laughs> I, these are so cute. <laughs> so these two are for traveling. There's for Japan travel and world travel. And then there's living at home and afternoon tea. Oh my God. They're so cute. These are the same texture as the, the, the other washi texture. Yeah. yeah. You get so many designs per mm -hmm. pack. This is like 15 designs of stickers. Mm -hmm. 15 designs, 45 pieces per pack. That's mm -hmm. so many. So many. Yeah. So many. Okay. Also new, we have new inks from Dominant Industry. Our friends over at Dominant Industry have new inks, which we're excited about. They're really pretty. Um, so we have the new Shimmer Pearl ink called Godio Celadon. And thanks to May, I pronounced Godio correctly. Yeah. <laughs> May's like, wait, you guys know how to pronounce this, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so this is actually an ink color that's inspired by the Godio Celadon ceramics that were common during the Godio period in uh, Korea, which was from like 900 to 1300, May was saying. Mm -hmm. um, and this is inspired by, it was like a Celadon was brought over from China and then in Korea, it really became its own thing and it became more of like this color. So it's a common color that we see a lot in um, Korean ceramics of the time. And then next up we have Winter Pine, which is this like standard ink color from Dominant Industry. And it is like an olive green. It's an, another olive what green. Are what are the it's chances? It's an olive green, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it has some shading to it. It shades yeah. kind of uh, brownish and kind of Tiny, tiny bit, bit of bluish. Yeah. I think mostly brownish when you're writing with mm. it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quite nice. Some new mm. inks from Dominant Industry. Okay, next up we have this adorable limited edition set wow. from Mild Liner, Zebra wow. Mild Liner. It is the set of 35 Mild Liner <laughs> highlighter colors. And it comes in this adorable, like little suitcase. Luggage yeah. trunk. Type thing. So if you're into like the travel theme, which I mean, who in the stationary community isn't, isn't right? Right. Like we have like these postage stamps. We have all the world travel theme mm -hmm. stickers. So this is a little suitcase shaped box set of the mild liners. And as you open them, this is super pleasing. They come oh. in these little sets that are also, of course, it looks like a little pouch. Oh my gosh, this is my first time seeing this. I know, this I know. I wanted so... to get this on camera. Wow, uh, the detail. I know, detail. it's so cute. Um, so you open up the little, little luggage. Yeah, a little purse a little, or whatever. Yeah, your, and your they're in this very pleasing oh. color order. That's so nice. With all of the colors. Listed. Listed. Wow. So all three sets look like that. So are these all the like blues and greens? Oh my gosh, they are. Yeah. Wow. 
Great yeah. thinking. I don't even know how they like began to think about organizing this. This it's packaging yeah. is, it's, it's giving me life. Yeah. It's giving me life. <laughs> so, so good. These are really cute and we're very happy that Mild Liner made them. Mm -hmm. Zebra mm -hmm. made these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, eek. Okay. Okay, all right, it's gonna, it's good it's enough. It's gonna live in there. It's good yeah. enough. All right, so I think that's about it for our newly added stationery this past week. Mm -hmm. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about all of the newly added. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, this past week in the store, we had a very special visit from a customer friend of the week that I wanna shout out. Ooh. Her name is Katie. And mm -hmm. um, she actually gave us a little, she gave, she shot me an email before she was coming to visit, which I appreciate. Um, so we, we knew she was coming that day and then she, wrote us this letter. She wrote us our whole team a letter saying um, that she really appreciated um, us being there for her and she was going through a tough time and all of the stationery really inspired her to kind of, um, you know, create art and Aww. yeah. So it really touched me to hear her story. She wrote us this really beautiful letter in a really beautiful ink that I have to ask her about. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw the paper too, it was very nice. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she wrote us this, this letter, I actually do have it. It says, Daisy, Neil, and Team Yoseka on this like sort of handmade paper mm -hmm. kind of situation. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. so nice. Um, and then she actually shared a book with us that, um, so she brought us a book that I, she wrote a story in this book. And um, yeah, she just kind of wanted to share with us that this, our stationery kind of really helped her to write the story. And I just thought it was very touching. Yeah, yeah, that's really heartwarming. I love all the stories. I feel like all the people that, that found Yoseka during the pandemic, like, share a similar story and I, I love hearing all of them. So Katie, thank you so much for coming by and bringing us this book that you had a part in making. I think that's so cool. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that our stationery actually inspired you to make your own art, which is incredible. And um, I can't wait to share your story and like have everybody on our team read your story. Yeah, I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah. So that is my customer friend of the week. And um, for anybody who is planning on visiting our store, last week we talked about how Christine was planning a stationary swap event. And I'm super excited that she'll be coming on in a future episode to share more details of that. It's actually going to be in the first week of April. So be sure to look out for more details on that. Um, Christine will tell you all about it. Mm -hmm. Until then, um, thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you so much for visiting our shop and writing stories and creating art and um, keeping us motivated um, to keep doing what we're doing. We really appreciate you and we'll see you very soon in the next episode. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.